So I wanted to talk to you guys today about something I've been feeling in my life. I'm at this weird point in my life and uh, I really have no one around me to really talk to. And I thought, let me come on social media. Let me vent to a whole bunch of people who may feel these things, but I'm not close to in proximity. And I wanted to talk about this feeling that I just can't shake, right? And I realized I don't want to participate in society anymore, whether it be school, work, job, leisure, any of those. I don't want to participate in it anymore. And while I've said that, people would give me the advice of, oh, just go off the grid, uh, just sell all your stuff and go off the grid. But I realized I don't want that either because they say it's your heart, but truly it's my soul that wants to leave the corruptible because truly all of these problems stem from things that can be corrupted. So I want the incorruptible. So let me explain to you guys further what I mean. I went through a really bad trauma. But I realized something about the trauma, you know, as they have their therapist and all of these psychologists or doctors, I realized something about this trauma. It wasn't mental trauma because I'm still able to operate with a sound mind in this thing they call reality here. It's not a body trauma because I'm able to still physically be okay. I'm fine in the physical. But then I realized it's a soul trauma, something that cannot be seen, but I feel it. You know, the same way that sometimes you go to a doctor and no matter how many symptoms you may be feeling, they can't diagnose you because they don't know what's going on. This is the soul trauma that I have been feeling constantly that has made me want to be away from this society and not only in space or environment, but out of body into spirit. I have a severe problem being in a society that I know does these things like ritually sacrificing kids murder, steal, lie, rape, all these things. I have a severe problem being around that. And it's unavoidable because it's in the very depth of it. It's in the very foundations of it. See, where people have normalized this society so much, I'm at a point in my life where I realize that society just ain't so normal because it's contingent on the idea that humans are born to suffer. And I have a problem with that because my internal tells me that it wants the incorruptible. It wants no sorrow. It wants love and peace for everyone, not just myself. And it seems to me that in this selfish world, in this society, where it's all about yourself, you can go isolate yourself and you'll feel better. No, because the, the, the soul trauma is not about me. And as I have experienced this soul trauma, I've experienced like, you know, the people trying to call me crazy and all this stuff. I mean, they come here with their definitions, these powers that be that try to deflect how you feel, this feeling inside of you that can't be explained by any of their practitioners because they don't have that divine knowledge. But either way, they digress, they deflect and they try to call you schizophrenic. You're a manic depressive. You're a bipolar. Their favorite thing is you're going through psychosis. I looked up the definition of psychosis. And it's a mental condition where you have this, um, this disassociation from the external reality. Okay, let's talk about this external reality. This external reality is based on falsehood. It's based on lies. You don't believe me. Your government lies to you. Your news lies to you. Every force that you think is something that is great lies to you. It's based on falsehood. So why wouldn't I want to disassociate from this external reality and go to something that doesn't lie to me but gives me truth? So again, as I said, I'm at this weird point in my life where it's just like, I don't even want to be here. I don't want to go off the grid. I don't want to be in society. I just want nothing to do with it. Because it's like, for example, you have a dirty room. You don't want to be in that dirty room, do you? You go to a party where everything's dry, dead, it's boring. You don't want to be there. You want to leave. Why is it that everything here is trying to keep me in what is corruption, with what is filth, and not tell me about what's more. But as I say that now, now I have to go into my path, right, in faiths. Like, as I went through this soul trauma, I was trying to find means of healing. So I went through a lot of different faiths. I mean, I went through the chakras. I went through Christianity, Hebrew Israelites, Jehovah Witness. Uh, I, I've been through all these religions, but I realized all of these religions wanted to keep me in a state of corruptibility, which is my dying, aging body. They wanted to keep me within the corruptible foundation. They want to tell me that it's all internal and you make your reality, yet my reality is imposed on me by the very law I have to follow. So no, I don't create my whole reality. Let's acknowledge truth here. But even as I say that, even Buddhism, 
all of these religions did not acknowledge this this glaring feeling inside of me that seeks the incorruptible that seeks where it cannot be corrupted by any means or force and none of them could ever fix that none of them knew the answers for that because i realized they weren't truly of wisdom but then i found something that did in fact reflect exactly the feelings i feeling you know where these practitioners couldn't diagnose and that was christ but before i mention christ i actually want to mention this guy on my um my shirt he's his name is albert einstein and he had this theory that energy was not created nor destroyed only transferred from one form to another right and i realized something because i read a lot of text as in these means of looking for faith and looking for this healing of my soul this trauma that i experienced and nothing was helping nothing and uh, I read Gnostic texts. And one of the Gnostic texts I read was the Gospel of Mary Magdalene. And the Gospel of Mary Magdalene talks about changing from one form to another. And I realized that the internal, the, the not seen, was requiring that of me. This is what I've been feeling. This feeling of moving from one form to another. From moving from the corruptible, which is the body, the dying aging body in the corruptible environment, to an incorruptible body. And an incorruptible environment and then i thought about matter science right because you know they try to make science and spirituality seem like two abstract ideals but in fact if you look at it appropriately and in truth you'll realize that it in fact validates spirituality because even look at matter right you have water water comes into something cold it turns into ice that ice melt turns into water that evaporates back into the air the energy is not being destroyed it's simply being uh, changed into another form or another right and this is what I want. See, this energy within me that animates this body, within me is this soul wanting that incorruptible. Where they tell you that death is final and your burial is all you are and that headstone is all you are. You are in fact only being changed into another form because energy cannot be created nor destroyed. This is not simply a theory, but something that we can look, observe, collect data in life for right thing is that they keep talking about the unseen it's imaginary it's imaginary but yet still the unseen is what creates the reality every every idea every thought creates something reality in reality right see i want the unseen and what do i mean by that every single thing in this world is corruptible this car is corruptible my body's corruptible this bottle of water is corruptible everything is corruptible everything seen is corruptible then I want the unseen, the incorruptible. It's not a simple me means of imagination. It's a means of what's not so available. So basically that was my qualms with religion. But then I found Christ, who was a man, human man, who spoke about the things that I feel inside, that I want reflected in my reality, such as peace, such as truth, such as honesty, such as kindness, such as love. I tell you that he's fake and he's not real. A man who healed without charge. Yes, though, so you go to a doctor, you know, where they say they promise amazing care. But unless your, your, your bank account has a certain amount of money or your health insurance can cover it, then that care is null and void, isn't it? You got to get out. That's their care here. It's contingent upon what you have in the material, not true love. But I digress. But as I go on, Christ showed me a means of not only reality or what I see around me, but a means of what I wanted to be more of that incorruptible and this is the feeling that I cannot shake this soul trauma that I cannot shake no matter how hard I try and I've tried guys I tried to understand what this could possibly be but I realized that all the fights all the man-made statues a Republican Democrat pro-choice pro-life were all man-made statutes that kept people in their corruptibility even religions that talk about God. But everything about God separates them from him. Because they build their kingdoms for here. They build their treasures for here. I'm at a weird point in my life, guys. A really weird point where I don't want anything to do with this world at all. Then these powers that be here try to call me suicidal because I talk about going forth of the body and going into something that is incorruptible. When I talk about that, they love to deflect. Oh, you're suicidal. You're this. If I was suicidal, trust me, I'm not going to do that because I know the powers that be how they work here and how they put me into this prison body but that's for another story i'm not going to be doing that a suicidal person tries to commit suicide duh but i do know i want to leave this place not simply go to another country not sim no i want incorruptible simple as that 
done stop trying i want nothing to do with this at all at all this place is horrible and i don't care what anyone says they're not fixing it that humans who all require the same things in order to live fight each other over realities that others other men made and imposed on them it's such a sick world a sick world of people that are nothing but corruptibility nothing but lack callous and no care at all for others outside of their own families you know that's what they promote here oh care about your families care dude we're all connected by one by one human family because we all require the same things in order to live isn't that what we define family is coming from the same bloodline y'all haven't recognized that outside of these instituted cultures and instituted traditions and morals and cultures and all this where i don't want wealth i don't want riches I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want a family. I don't want anything. I want to be free. This is the weird place that I'm in. Where I know that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. But changed from one form to another. That I know that I'm not only the burial that I was promised. The death that I was promised. But after death comes life. And I don't want to corrupt myself in violence. Because this is what they do here. Having a whole bunch of ignorant humans. Not knowing anything about who they truly are fighting each other defiling each other just so that they can harvest your energies again to create their realities i don't have any goals i don't have any dreams i have nothing i want nothing truly i just want to leave this body i want it laid back into the dirt where it came from and i want to live in the spirit and the soul this is the energy changing from one form to another you know the same thing that science teaches I am more, and humans are more, than what they have told you. And this is why I always say, remember who you are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if there's any other light beings out there who kind of get what I'm saying. Like, outside of the religions, outside of the, the, the scripts, outside of these uh, soul defilers, outside of these powers that be that we're more, we're way more. And it's not mental, it's not schizophrenic, it's not psychosis. It's acknowledging truth outside of a dictionary, outside of a man-made definition. That's only an understanding of what was already here. It's like the logic doesn't logic here. Whole bunch of people, gatekeepers of logic, yet they don't know truth. Yet, if every anything you do, whether it's religion, whether it's math, whether it's science, whether it's, it's not based on the measure of truth... It loses credibility. It just becomes one of your pseudo sciences. Let's be real. So I'm at this weird point in my life, guys. Weird, weird. Where I don't want money. I don't want success. I don't want anything of the tangible. I only want what is spiritual, what is unseen. Every unseen, everything that is unseen comes from a thought in which people make it a reality. Matter gave birth. To something that is contrary to what is cor in incorruptible. And yes, Christ is real to me because he reflects what I'm feeling. That nobody in this world can tell me why. He's the only one. Nobody else. No other deity. No other Egyptian Ra. None of that. Christ. It's so beyond what you can see. God, spirit, incorruptible. It's beyond what you can see. Because all you can see is corruptible. But I'm at this weird point in my life, guys. Weird point that I can't describe. But maybe I did describe. Maybe someone else can understand because they feel it inside too. I don't know. And it's like, the thing is, it's like, you'll, you'll have the TikTok pictures. The people, oh, I sold all my stuff and I just travel and now I'm happy. You're not happy. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That happiness is only a moment. When you chase moments, you chase what is running away from you. What is fleeting. These emotions, these impulses of the flesh are only that but when you seek what is eternal even traveling becomes mundane because the tra traveling is limited to a dead item airplane helicopter car whatever it is it's limited it's limited to a body that can only walk it's not it's not free see in my mind i imagine like this world where there's no chaos and violence like this like this 
pulsation of love and this a high frequency i am listen man i don't care what no one says and, and I, I don't smoke no i'm just beyond the battles at this point i'm beyond it i'm beyond it and truly i think i'm at this point in my life because i was meant to be sifted separated called out while many people are just gonna have to die because with the grace and truth that christ provided they never saw it it was never real i want to take on the spirit of man oh, i really really want the incorruptible incorruptible you know how they protest for their black lives matter their republican the democrat all these stuff that are man-made statutes i'd rather go out into the street incorruptible powers that be let me free incorruptible this is what i require so funny all these people who claim to know god and everything didn't recognize the truth in that we don't battle flesh and blood we battle spirits do you know what a spirit is it can take over someone without them even knowing. What is the roots of your spirit? But either way, I digress. You know, they don't recognize that they're fighting each other. They're fighting other human beings. Killing other human beings for something of this dead, dying world. But I'm crazy, guys. I don't want to kill a white person just because. I don't want to kill a black person just because. Like, just because I want your land? I'm good. Keep it.